I pray that you had a great, wonderful Christmas. Well, my family decided they wanted honey-baked ham for Christmas, and I thought I was smart. I thought I'd go to the honey-baked ham store before it opened so that the line wouldn't be too long. I got there about an hour before it opened, and the line stretched around the shopping center. I asked someone how long they had been in line, and this woman looked past me with a blank, a dead stare that she said, I don't know. You know, there's a lot of fascination with zombies. You know, the zombie movies and are zombies real and all that stuff. Well, if you want to see the zombie apocalypse, go to the Honey Baked Ham store on the day before Christmas. Those people are the walking dead in that line. They're there to get the good ham, but they've even forgotten why they're there. It's so long, and it takes so many hours to get inside <laughs> that it's just unbelievable. I don't know what you did for Christmas dinner. That's what we did for Christmas dinner. I was worried that I would actually die in that line, but, but I survived and uh, had a wonderful Christmas. I pray that you did too. You know, when you are going towards something in life, make sure that you're moving, not just standing there like in a honey-baked ham line. Make sure that you're going towards your goal, even if it's itty-bitty steps, make sure you're in movement. And this is important to change your life in 2015. We have to have movement. It can be ever so slight movement, but as long as it's positive movement in the direction that we want to be going in so that we can arrive at our goal, so that we can have what we desire in our lives. And I pray with you that what you are moving towards becomes demonstrated and manifested in your life in 2015. I pray that you'll have all the spiritual help that you need, that God will inspire you. And when you need to veer a bit from the direction you think you should be going, I pray that you'll listen to God and go in that new direction. In 2015, what is the secret of obtaining your goals? Put God first every day of your life. By turning to God first, you have 365 marvelous unopened opportunities for you in 2015. You will find as you turn to God, you'll have a fountainhead of joy work in you. You'll enjoy doing things. Even when you're in things like the honey-baked ham line, you'll see the humor in it. You will see the absolute joy and you'll, you'll enjoy the experience more than you would ordinarily. When you meet with challenges... You will meet them with a God-given wisdom and courage, and you will let that quietly rise from within you to literally overflowing. You will turn to God every day of 2015. As you seek God first, the result will be an overflowing of joy and gladness. In tapping God you are tapping a power that is a limitless wellspring of wisdom and joy, gladness, strength, courage that will carry you through every experience at a new and a higher level. So in 2015, I ask you to put God first every day. Before you even get out of bed, say a prayer for that day. And then relax. Instead of being tensed up, 
relax, and let God flow through you with joy and with gladness. As you let this experience of your oneness with God come through you in 2015, you will draw your good to you like a magnet, and you will have an uplifting influence on others wherever you go. Happy New Year.